audience here is standing in for the department managers, the operations manager, and the owners of the company I currently work at, DCG1. <coughs> Hi, I'm Robert Kavalheim. I've been working here at DCG1 since August of last year doing inventory control. I've been working closely with a few of you, maybe Ben, Mark, Niall, and Paul, but for those of you who don't know, I've been working in warehouses for about 10 years now, and I have some ideas pulling from those experiences that might benefit the company here. Particularly, I think having an industrial cardboard shredder to turn some of our used cardboard that we recycle into packing material would be a good idea. One of my first jobs was at Seattle Lighting Company's dist distribution center just a few blocks away. They had a similar physical volume of inventory and hand-packed materials, and they used a cardboard shredder to produce most of their packing materials. Being able to produce your own pack materials on demand, on location, while reducing the recycling cost is something I took for granted at the time. My next job was at Bob Powell's manufacturing site in Ballard. They didn't move nearly as much material in and out as we do here, but they still far exceeded the amounts of cardboard that they recycled every day. I think it would be a good idea to get an industrial cardboard shredder because it would save money, allow us to more efficiently use our resources, and due to our move from Woodenville and Redmond into this location, we have a unique opportunity to be very strategic in installing and integrating a cardboard shredder into our current and future operations. <coughs> so, almost every business decision, the bottom line is money. I've been talking to Niall for the past few weeks to get some basic numbers from fulfillment and shipping, and I've contacted Brentwood Recycling Systems, a supplier of cardboard shredders, um, to get a basic quote for a price and to help estimate operating costs. As of now, DC1, DCG1 currently spends around $450 a month on newsprint to use as packing paper. I don't think it'd be realistic to completely replace it, but a good starting point would be reducing usage by 75%, saving the company $337 a month. In order to uh, replace that volume of packing material, we would need to shred about 450 cubic feet of used cardboard, or about seven of the large recycle bins that we use every day. Currently, we recycle 24 of these bins of cardboard a month, so it's way more than enough to cover the demand for packing material. And at $18 a bin, Shredding seven bins instead of recycling them would save us around $126 a month. To operate the shredder for the 6.5 hours needed to fulfill the, the need for material, as well as some extra time for inefficiency and other related tasks, it would be about $150 per month for labor and another $45 for electricity and other maintenance, totaling $195 per month. That leads to net savings per month of $268. The, the price I was quoted by Brentwood Recycling Systems is $4,850, and at that rate of savings, we would break even at 18 months, and over its useful life of six years before needing major uh, maintenance, the net, the net savings would be over $14,000. But it's not just about saving money. A cardboard shredder would allow us to react quicker to changes in production levels and more efficiently use resources we already have. At the last quarterly employee meeting, Patrick discussed how DCG1 has wildly varying periods of production and revenue throughout the year. His example was, in July, 
we had our lowest revenue month ever, and two months later in September, we had our highest. He made the point that sales is trying to find contracts during the off season to sort of smooth that out. And I think a paper shred a cardboard shredder would help help us address that problem from the other direction. <laughs> also, another problem that we have in a number of departments is hiring temp workers, but not having enough work for them to last the whole day. So we're basically paying them to look busy. Having a a shredder to produce our own packing material would be just another task that could be productive rather than sweeping the same floor for 45 minutes. We also have the hearing and eye protection in production and maintenance departments that we would need to for anyone operating the shredder. And also at our, and also at our disposal, we have a very capable maintenance team. I spoke to Dan, their lead, and he said they, would, they could easily um, do all the maintenance and light repairs on a shredder, on the shredder, on the shredder of the size that we would need to match our production levels. And if that wasn't enough to convince you that saving money and using our current resources more efficiently. Right now we have a, we're in a unique period of time due to moving into this location where we have unallocated space where we can install a shredder without disrupting any of our current operations. I've identified one spot that I think would be a great location. It's in the southwest corner of the building, right next to the air compressor. It's about 1,800 square feet that is not really defined for any specific use. There's some temporary storage of furniture and pallets and maintenance does some work in there. But even with all that, there's more than enough room to install a shredder. I think it's a particularly good spot because the air compressor is already making a very loud noise 24 seven. So the shredder wouldn't be disrupting anyone more than they already are at least. Also, since maintenance is doing, uh, has been doing work there, they've built in electrical, inf electrical wiring into that location. So even if it can't support installing a piece of machinery the size of the shredder, it'd be a fairly small pro uh, project to branch out and install the shredder. Also, most of the traffic is through these areas and almost none is back in this corner. So storing and moving cardboard and packing material in and out would not obstruct anyone. So in conclusion, uh, I believe a cardboard shredder would save money, increase our flexibility to react to changes in production levels and more efficiently use our resources. And also, we are still in a window of time where we have the ability to be very strategic in installing and implementing a shredder into our operations. <clears throat> now, this is only my fairly small perspective. I can only look at this so many ways. I have to admit that there's factors that I might not know about or that I can't measure correctly. So, Ultimately, my goal today was not to convince you outright that we need a cardboard shredder. I just wanted to start the conversation so that hopefully we can all seriously consider this as an option using our combined knowledge and experience. Thank you.